Hello there everyone and welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3. So last time we had a battle here by the mines. Another battle that deserved a uh, point on the map. But um, what I've done is I've gone ahead and already um, done the initial of this turn. So I've already uh, ended the turn and we now have full movement range. So I just want to show a little bit what happened which is not a lot, nothing really, I built some stuff but the important stuff is obviously on the front with the Austrian so you can see there's a bit of difference here than before. The force that survived this battle moved away but was then destroyed by the Bavarians and after this the Austrians have gone ahead and blocked the route with Christian Bauer having a small force here uh, blocking us for doing a direct attack on Vienna and then they've moved up this gentleman as well, Paul Davovich, David Ovich, and then we have the main force here. Um, and I want to have a finalized battle in Vienna. Now, so my strategy has gone ahead and changed. So my s my strategy, which I have devised now, is the will march through rather than go through this area, being bogged down by this battle and then not being able to pursue all the way here they could combine the reinforcement and attack us we're gonna go th over the bridge here and then we're go gonna go in between here now we're s the flanks are secure on both sides by the river and then hopefully they'll attack us somewhere around here or hopefully they'll stay away we'll able to force them off here then set up at the bridge have my army groups around there the enemy having regrouped will attack hopefully at the bridge or we attack from the bridge maybe we'll get a bri bri <laughs> bridge battle or the Austrians don't go ahead and attack and then I can push over the bridge and have a final battle against the Austrians in Vienna to end the war and then um, as I've realized that my army groups are quite undermanned as they've been. Uh, oftentimes, as for the last battle, we saw me uh, have to switch troops from uh, the right flank to the left flank and so on. And I have a lot of cavalry and other stuff, but I don't actually have that many line infantry. So I've gone ahead and I've started recruiting line infantry. We have some more being recruited here but also here and here uh, that will be moved up and hopefully join these groups um, Lane will hopefully um, be able to join this but maybe he'll move through here uh, we don't I'm not sure yet so we'll move uh, Napoleon will be able to move through here we'll probably have to burn this one um, to stop the Austrians from being able to reinforce. I want to make sure, yes, they do have a force there. Um, this is a bit concerning, but we have the two bridges here where we can um, force the enemy in uh, to single points of attack where I can easily win um, against larger numbers of troops. But there's a risk, of course, of being attacked from both sides. But that um, was already the case even if we went through here. Now I want to challenge myself a bit by, um, by not going. The, the safe route would be to move up here, then take this to secure this area and then being able to pour down through here, tr through Vienna. But I want to challenge myself a bit, so we're going to move through here and si try to get a finalized battle. Um, now a lot of troops have lost men throughout this so since we cannot advance through much so much through this area we're gonna first march through here so we keep uh, the replenishment going of our troops. I'm building a supply depot there but I'm, I don't think we will be able to wait for that to be ready for us. But we'll get, um, we'll continue one more turn of uh, supplying our troops. And then I've also uh, commissioned a little bit of a fleet at Brest 
uh, that is on the way of being uh, being built. We also have this one that should be repaired. And uh, I have nothing more to... Yes! Technologies! I go ahead and change those around. Um, I need national census to be able to get mass mobilization. But then... Uh, colonial funding. Why am I doing that? Because supplies from trade nodes. I'm not too sure about that. Um, grand batteries will allow me to enable barrages, um, top gallants, uh, increase range of movement on sea, improved coppering, poverty control laws. Uh, let's abolish the... no, let's see, I'm the wrong one. Heidelberg should uh, go ahead and abolish the Inquisition rather than do uh, colonial funding. So, let's go ahead and then turn and see if the Austrians, what the Austrians are up to. They're bringing in more and more men. I'm, I'm able to beat a lot of them. Oh, they're really reinforcing that flank there. But if I go through the middle, as I said, oh, they reinforce that bit as well. <laughs> Uh, but if I go in the middle, as I say, I will be able to station maybe even as little as one single army group the Prussians are building up. I need to um, get more troops over in Hanover and then we need to check Belgium again. Our enemies are building far greater armies and I do have a lot of cash, so I should be recruiting more men. Come on, yes! Bavaria did what I hoped they would do. They finally turned and get, we got a victory from that. Um, otherwise, that would have been a problem. Um, being sort of cut off from the back and um, having that for... If, if, the, uh, they haven't, if the Bavarians hadn't beaten the enemy there, the uh, enemy could have continued taking Bavaria and that would have cut me off from my supply lines basically uh, and that would have been terrible and I wouldn't have been able to uh, do my ambitious plan I think we'll have one battle first to secure the two bridges uh, then we'll station one of the army groups um, in the northernmost bridge and then we'll concentrate Napoleon and the others down on the southern bridge hopefully that will work construction report uh, now there is a resupply depot here, and uh, the, the resupply is pretty crap though anyways, as it is the lowest, the highest is, there's red, yellow, and then there's green. Um, we'll continue to build on this. Right, Napoleon can actually move through the bridge there. They'll be able to drag in these guys. Wonder if they'll allow us to cross the bridge or if they'll attack us on the bridge. Um, the spy will ste still be able to see this even if I move the spy here because I want to see whether or not this army group can go ahead and advance through here. It depends on what they have in Croatia. But the plan looks as though we're going to go through here, because because it's going through the forest, it's going to take too long. Um, so we're going to go through here, we're going to attack this position, we're going to set up in between here. Um, and then we will attack Vienna. An audacious plan. And uh, hopefully it will work. Napoleon first. Uh, Ney's troops second. Davo after that. And then we'll keep Murat. I think we'll keep Murat out of the way because I don't want that much cavalry to turn up during the battle. I, he'll have to come after this. So these guys are within range of the farmstead of... Uh, 
the Danude farmland clearance, which Napoleon is now going to attack. But Napoleon didn't reach it, which means that um, someone else is going to have to lead the attack, which is going to be Ney to lead the attack. He has the sizable troop to do this. So Ney will lead the attack here. We outnumber the enemy quite a lot. And I no doubt we have we'll have a victory here. And then we have split the Austrian forces into like if, if they had uh, combined all of that and attacked us, they would have I mean that would have been eight thousand men maybe that they could put against my force. Um but that's not what the Austrians are doing, are, are they? Let's go ahead and attack. The superior maneuverability of Napoleon's army, just like in real life, has uh, turned out quite well for us. And let's see. I'm pretty sure that we will be victorious in this one as well. This is our spawn location the enemy is gonna set up next to this uh, house over here with their men it's a hill though so the artillery will not have a great shot from down here okay we start where I thought the enemy would um, going through the forest it's nice the fact that they've gone ahead and showed me where they placed the bomb. But otherwise, I might have walked onto that. Ha! Huh. Um, I wish that there were like a arrow in the beginning showing where the Allied reinforcements were going to come from, because that would obviously dictate where I would put my men. Oh, we have a little ground going through here. Putting the artillery down here. Firing up through there would have been a greater, a better angle, but moving it up here would be very dangerous. Trying to get it this way. I guess we're going to use it as close support for our infantry line. We're going to attack through the open here. We're going to have the cannons over there. And then we're going to have the line drawn out along here. right there and then uh, a small squadron of cavalry will be at the cannons to protect them and then we've got Ney in the back let's see who light infantry yeah they can go through the forest that's pretty pretty good um, pioneer company right let's go ahead and start this and right off the bat we'll go ahead and advance the line upon the Austrians and have the cannon advance everything in advance ah look at that the reinforcement of Napoleon turns up right here to claim this hill this is better than I could have expected and then Davo is coming over there no this is ah Davo is coming over here I thought it was Napoleon because he had the three because he had the artillery there. And but Napoleon's coming up behind with his Mamluks. Davo, I love you, man, coming in through this position. We'll gain the high ground above the Austrians. I'm no, not sure why I said it like that. Davo! March your men to gain the high ground. And the cannon and everything. And then we have Napoleon and his men come in here. Uh, Napoleon will go ahead and join Ney in the center. And then Napoleon's cavalry will take uh, a detour around the forest and come around there. Right, Napoleon's second cavalry unit. Ney is a gun ho to get into battle and he stands before his army. Even as the cannons 
are firing on this. Oh, look at that. That's a uh, Hobbitzer shell. Hobbitzers are fired all around you. But the Marshal stands firm. And here comes our sort of ish columns. I, yes, I should have gone ahead and tested on a custom, like a custom battle or something. Uh, the Mamluks, it's the personal bodyguard of Napoleon, will go ahead and protect him. Right, um... Marshal Ney, your force, given the location now of uh, Marshal Davo, will be that you will swing around a bit like this. We'll have to keep in mind the bomb right there. And then Marshal Ney will come come to this location right here. Marshal Ney's cannon should set up over there and then his uh, unit of SARS will hide down in this dip here. Right, uh, what do we have here? First Regiment Chasseur Cheval We'll go ahead and move to hide down there. Davo himself will set up over here. I wonder how well the cannons will be able to fire through here, but Davo's cannon will be set up over here. It would be nicer to get it over here, but I think this location right here will do. We'll be able to fire shots through here. Ah, look at that. The enemy, I really like this, the AI is clever enough to protect its flank with spikes seeing that these two cavalry units are coming around there. Um, it would be nicer though if they placed it right through here. Uh, we'll have to move, either if we move around all the way around, or, you know what, yeah, we'll go all the way around to be sure, otherwise I might have moved through there. We'll move around completely. This artillery is ready, I think. Position's not that the best, but uh, we'll do that. The thing is, I could push forward, but I imagine that these guys are going to start moving soon, and then I want to have my men ready in a way that we will be able to uh, attack the enemy without um, uh, the risk of uh, being overwhelmed when we're not in ready positions with cannon and all. Napoleon moves up. These cannons are ready and should be able to lob shots then into the enemy. Yes, we hit someone over there. Look at that, the pioneers have gone ahead and set up a square there. The cavalry is moving to face off the our cavalry. The cavalry will move back and form attack lines. Maybe they're trying to attack us and then bring us onto the to the spikes in the square. I'm not entirely sure. Right. Davos uh, battalions are ready, or his uh, army group. 18th the uh, two uh, um, Dutch lines as well. We'll go ahead and start lining them up now. And we have the high grounds above the Austrians and they have not even deployed. Oh crap. Look at this. A charge onto unprepared cavalry. This is not good. But it's light hussars that are attacking uh, two guard regiments. Come on, let's have you. I'm pretty sure the uh, the Grenadera Cheval will be able to beat these guys, so the Chasseur Cheval will follow. And these will be broken. Third Foot Guard Pioneers will soon be able to move into the range of the first Wautenburgers. The cavalry is moving straight into them. Form square! The cavalry will redraw as not to run onto those spikes. The light infantry will form into square! 
Form Square! Form Square! Send the enemy off! In good order! Right, the enemy has been seen off, form back into line and start engaging the uh, Pioneer Troop. And these guys are redrawing. We are active and encouraged. We will continue our encirclement of the Austrians. At the same time, we're going to send these guys forward now. We're going to have these two come a bit to the side here. As to be able to walk around this bomb. These three will be the frontal attack. And now Davos men are ready. Uh, let's have the cannons move a bit forwards. Oh, they're moving real slow in the snow. Right, hold it the right there. Deploy and bombard the enemy force. Devil's troops are about to come into order. Uh, but we'll, we'll drag up the front first. Oh. The shots of this cannon are not going uh, anywhere near the enemy. I'm going to move them to this location right here. It's a lot better uh, location. The Wautenbergers have defeated the enemy. But yet again, they come under cavalry charge. But I do think they will hold the line against the uh, Hussars. Once again, the Hussars charge into uh, unprepared troops. But um, it's almost like they're trying to drag us on to the spikes. The enemy now has started to move. And just as the music picks up, they send in another unit of cavalry. The Chasseur Cheval will continue around. For safety, these will form into square. These will continue to hound the enemy. Now they're sending their troops. A lot of them are being sent to uh, deal with this situation right here. These two will advance. And now it's time to advance the center at the same time as we're setting up this cannon over here. Has this cannon started firing? I want to see how they lay the shots. Oh, yes. Those are good shots being laid into the Austrians. The Austrians are deploying troops over here. This is not going to be very useful for us. Let's have the cavalry instead chase these guys away while the other guard is moving away. The enemy cavalry, except for the general, have been dispelled. So there's no need for... Uh, square any longer. Form back into line. These guys form line like so. Form line there. And these um, there's not really room for them. How about you move back to a reserve position. The cannons are now in, not in a good position either. We'll move them to this side. Once these guys are done Devil will advance his line. But that's hopefully going to come quite soon because the enemy. Right. the uh, This unit can move forwards again. The enemy is putting a lot over here. Come on, dispel these unit. So I can send Davos, Davos men forwards. Send them off. Send them off. These idiots are just standing here taking fire. If it would be, are they fire? It's almost like the, it's almost like these guys are firing volleys, sort of ish. Oh, 
Well, they're firing constant. Yeah, they're firing concentrated volleys. These guys. It's not. They're all timed. They're all timed so well. Same with these ones. We're gonna have to advance here now because I cannot wait any longer. This unit will hold just when they're in range and then fire again. The Austrians move forward hard towards this and these guys cannot really hope for any uh, support by the cavalry because of the spikes. Same with this one. Right, these guys are ready. Deploy the guns. Okay, time to hold here. Oh, we're like just in front of them. Sir, our general is under attack. Who is under attack? Marshal Ney is under attack. Hold your line and fire. Send them off. Good. Make sure that they are completely off the field. Now, advance. Continue your advance. There's a lot of heavy fire going down down here. They are holding though. I think we're gonna have to move Marshal Ney down here. But watch out for the spikes. This is uh, the area which we need. Uh, these, these two will go there. This one will march to this location to lay into the flank. We need to send these guys off. Bayonet charge! Get him away from there. The Wautenbergers, the Leicht infantry of the Wautenbergers are holding on. They're holding on well. Because the Austrians are unable to form proper lines. Did we? Yes, those guys are off the field. Let's have this cavalry unit move up as well. The enemy uh, is slowly but surely being encircled. I want you now to move up here. It's all down to the Wautenbergers holding the far end there against these guys. I would charge in cavalry, but as we know, the spikes are there. Have these guys formed square or anything? No, they're just in there in the forest. Right. Deal with them. These two are slowly moving up. The enemy is continuously moving, they're closing in on these guys. But they've got Marshal Ney in the back, so hopefully they will do just fine. The Burmesian infantry is broken, these guys are taking a lot of damage. We want to move them back, we want to replace them then, because we have the possibility to do that. So these guys will move back to the top of the hill, or the top of that ridge, and these guys will come in, the 5th Grenadiers will come in and take their place. And then these two will move forwards, and this one will turn. And the encirclement is about to become complete. I do think we're gonna hold the fire of the cannons now. This one will switch to canister, however. The other one will hold its fire. The trade has just taken place. This unit has fallen back. And now the grenadiers are ready to take the place uh, of that unit. Sankt Georgia. I think we've seen them before, maybe.
The enemy is getting encircled. Right, let's move these guys forwards. In these to close the gap. We've lost quite a lot of men over here. Let's have Marshal Ney march over here. The enemy is now completely surrounded. A glorious victory, sir. Is soon to be yours. That's not very clever, having your crew in front of the gun. Fire! Oh, what's this that's turned up? Cannon crews. What's this? Go ahead and deal with them. Since they are the last unit, I doubt they will be able to hold on. Oh, Marshal Ney is just marching straight into the... The only uh, hole there were was where they had laid the bomb, and there is where the enemy is retreating out of that region. There's probably a lot of friendly fire going through through all of this. Let's hold the cannon because I fear they might lay a canister right into uh, Marshal Ney. Look at these guys, they will back it, they, they're not sure where to get out from here. Pretty nasty. We're gonna let them to go, let them go because we need to deal with these guys that made it out. Or maybe I can just send the cavalry to deal with them. We're gonna let them leave. Uh, same with these guys. Marshal Ney went through and just slayed a few of the running, the people that were running away. Quite a few actually. It's a lot of dead people here. These will just walk after these to make sure that they. Uh, they do not come back. So the enemy was uh, successfully encircled and destroyed. The thing is, the enemy does not really deploy in time to make it um, a good battle. And there we have the victory. Let's go ahead and end it. And we're going to go ahead and save this replay by calling this one uh, something. If I can remember all these numbers. Should remove the old ones. I should what well, I should number them one, two, three, four, five and so on. Rather than my rather strange system. The enemy was defeated. Marshal Ney will now go ahead and secure the bridge. No, he will not. Don't. F no, god damn it. He f fell back too far. My genius plan is about to get broken up because bastards are not doing what I want. We need to secure that bridge, but we need to stay out of this guy's hair. So we're just like just on the bridge. Just on the bridge there. Napoleon is close. But he is caught out here. And we got almost a full stack ready to attack. Um, these guys probably should stay here. But we really need them up here. In case there is an attack towards the Brunn factory. And I've got a lot of cash to spend. We need more men here, as I said before. Let's have some Volta Gears, two units. And then we're gonna need some more Belgians. Um, because of the... Um, is there one of each of these? Yes, there is. So, them and... Okay, so I've recruited all the Belgian troops I can now. Um, so that will comprise this Belgian group that will move forwards. Oh, we got this guy, which should move towards the culture center over there. 
Uh, we're building more troops there. We're building troops over here. Um, anything else I can build, really? Build up some of these places. Which is already being built in most cases. Up front. Military Academy. More troops. Uh, and so on. Right. Let's go ahead and end the turn. And see what the enemy does. They're increasing their... Oh, their move. Yes. Leaving uh, Prague, but I needed that because otherwise Ney would have been in risk of being destroyed. Surrender! No, uh, we will not do such a thing. Uh, <laughs> two units. Um. Yeah, there's no point in playing that battle. I could have done like a play for time or something, but no. Okay, so now we're a bit encircled. But the staging ground is ready for our attack on uh, the Austrian capital. They did not go ahead and they did go ahead and attack the obvious position to attack. It's kind of a kind of shit that I'm losing this now because I would have liked to have them because of previously stated goals um, that I have to um, to control that region once the Austrians sign peace with me. To um, not be encircled in the capital. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. If I hadn't moved, if I hadn't moved, m if I had known that the I should have been more careful moving Ney up to the bridge to secure it. And just stand there on the edge. Because now we lost Bohemia. It's not very nice. Army destroyed. Yeah. I wouldn't call it an army. The good weather is back. So that's good. And. Now we have troops. And we have. Other stuff being done. Great Britain has built a really large ship. Yeah, that's very, uh, um, very um, encouraging. But also not very surprising, I must say. Uh, did I recruit? Was I? No, I can't recruit any troops here. And I recruited troops over here. Nothing over here. So all of it was over here. These men. Which will be distributed uh, throughout my army groups. And they'll go ahead and march like this to the front. And <coughs> you'll go ahead and join here. And now it's time to set up for a finalizing battle on Austria's capital. It would have been nice to let them build build this stuff. What does this actually do? 3% bonus tax rate in all regions. And it would have enabled the Archduke Charles's legion. Um, it's a pretty good unit, I think. That would have been 3% would have been nice. Um, <coughs> let's move the men to the side. M Marshal Lanes, Marshal Ney, and then we have Napoleon to go in through the center and attack and hopefully we'll bring all of these with us into what will be quite the battle. I want to go ahead and see what's down here though. Zagreb is only controlled by Grenzers. What's the chance of infiltrating 90% chance? That's good. Uh, some militia units and some Hungarian line infantry and then Grenzers, the rest of it. Nothing 
too uh, major for Messina to go ahead and complete. To go ahead and take that. And given th given the time, I sort of want Vienna to be its own battle video. Um, it, it, I'm I want to make I want to check how much time we spend on that battle and how much it's left of this episode. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and attack uh, Zagreb, Croatia instead, and then for the next one we'll have the finalizing battle because I don't want two long videos for obvious reasons. And while I'm do while I check that, I might as well go ahead and uh, find a points of building stuff. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so looking at the time there, um, it's 40 minutes, so there will be no extra battle here. And the next one will have the attack on Vienna. The things that I I built a few stuff, and I was able to go ahead and uh, sign up a trade pact with Mecklenburg so we have another trade partner and I start to make a lot of money don't I um, from trade and tax and so on and also from um, raiding you know what I forgot something namely I need I forget to repair the navy uh, anyways, this will be the end of this video, so I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.